of a discussion in the debate where where, they, where, where um, Muhammad Hijab rightly distinguishes between praying for and praying to, okay? And, and, I, know, and I know Professor David Wood has, has, you know, has, has, has made a later video saying that that doesn't make it any better. They're both Allah praying, but those are both wrong. And, and I'm sure Muhammad Hijab actually understands that those are both wrong, right? Like, his explanation of it, he clearly understands that those, that those are both wrong. And actually, the preposition li in Arabic is the same. You know, the preposition li has the meaning of for and to. So it's the same thing in Arabic anyway. But actually what Allah uses here is Sallu A'ala. He uses the verb Salli A'ala, which means to, to, to put salutations on or to send salutations upon someone. It doesn't mean to pray to them. It's a completely different meaning when you use the preposition A'ala. And, and, and that's what's happening in this ayah. That's what's happening. And unfortunately, an ignorance of that is, um, is really unfortunate, actually. Like when I was watching this debate, I actually felt a bit like a bit sorry for Professor David Wood. I felt a little bit like it was just so silly. Like so sometimes when you watch debates like that. Right, right. You are very silly too. And you are a very, very hypocrite. Because your brother Hijab, he agree that Allah he pray for. And you are the one who said there is no difference between pray for and pray to. And if it is not, if it is salute as you say, so why your brother Hijab, he said pray? Why he, cons why he was continuing using the word to pray, if it is mean salute. You see, you might claim to be an Arabic teacher, but obviously you are not being honest and taking the side of Islam because you are a Muslim. And actually, all what you do here, you are a Muslim trying to promote Islam by Arabic. We know that. Maybe you can find some fool who believe you. Now, as long as you are the one who used the word silly, let me show you how Muhammad Hijab himself, he shut you up and he showed you that you are a person who is not sharing the truth. This is your brother Muhammad Hijab speaking and telling us what he meant. Don't tell me you want to explain to us what he said. And not only that, he is getting you busted by using a verse from the Quran, exact same verse, I mean same words, used in the verses we are talking about, Allahu malaikatuhu yusalluna ayan nabi. He is quoting for you a verse showing you that you are a hypocrite taking a side of hijab even though hijab he com he, com he confess and he says yes allah he pray but he pray for not pray to Re listen carefully and laugh at yourself how silly you are he's used here the believers does that mean that he's worshiping the believers is that what you think the message listen is carefully or play it from the beginning one thing number two david would is still trying to push this point that uh, allah supposedly prays to the uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as in Surat um, Al-Ahzab in Allah Malaikatuhu Yusalluna Al-Nabi he says that Yusalluna Al-Nabi means that he's praying worshipping him let me finish this debate. that's false David Wood everybody can watch the debate and you will see how Muslims they lie that even like, the guy he just finished the debate the debate is recorded David Wood never said that Allah he pray to Muhammad to worship him he said he pray for Muhammad and you are the one who repeat after him says, this is why it says pray for, not to. But your brother here, he just said this Arabic teacher with the long hair and he looks so very, very, uh, very attractive for girls that, uh, you know, my hair is going to tell you something different, my friend. Lee and two, it doesn't make any difference. And he just said that, which means you are being stupid and your brother is getting busted, getting you busted. Because what is the difference between praying for and praying to? Your brother here, he got you busted. He said, there's no different. It's the same. It's really unfortunate, actually. Like, when I was watching this debate, I actually felt send salutations upon someone. It doesn't mean to pray to them. It's a completely different li in Arabic is the same. You know, the preposition li has the meaning of for and to. So, it's <laughs> so you are getting your brother busted because he is the one who said, this is why the translator, he said, for, not to. So you are saying that Muhammad Hijab is an idiot, but you don't dare to say it because you want to take his side. It doesn't matter how, if he's wrong or right. And now let's see how Muhammad Hijab would get you busted. You see, you get him busted, and now it's time, it's time for Muhammad Hijab to get you busted. Listen carefully. One verse in the Quran. In chapter 9, verse 103, it says, خُذْ مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ صَدَقَةً تُطَهِرُهُمْ وَتَزَكِّيهِمْ وَصَلِّ عَلَيْهِمْ Prophet Muhammad is being commanded to salli ala. The same wording is used here, the believers. Does that mean that he's worshipping the believers? Is that what you think the message of Islam is? <laughs> <laughs> See, he quote for you this exact sentence in different chapter in the Quran. 
And he says to you, is that mean that the Prophet, he, he worshipped the believers? No. It does not mean he worshipped the believer. It means he prayed for them. He prayed to Allah, so he will purify them. Read with me carefully. This is the verse which your brother, Hijab, he chose, and he got you busted that you are lying to us about the meaning. And you said in the video, it means salute. And I will go back to that. Chapter 9, verse number 103. And this is the verse Hijab, he chose himself. Of their goods, take alms that thou mightst purify and sanctify them and pray in their behalf. He said this is exactly the same sentence used there. So how you come to your mind that this is mean salute? I never heard of somebody saying pray to somebody means salute somebody. That is the most stupid Arabic ever I heard. You are a hypocrite like the rest of you. Did you hear your friend Hijab saying this is the exact same word? So what the translation for them? Pray in their behalf. So how it became salute? Listen carefully to Muhammad Hijab getting you busted. And you got him busted because you showed Hijab how silly he is when he said ah, four and two. This is the same. It's the same. It's what you said, right? I like what you said. You sound like a smart guy, but pff, with issues. And the issues are funny. Prophet Muhammad is being commanded to salli ala. The same wording is used here. The believers. Does that mean that he's worshipping the believers? Is that what you think the message of this? No. Does you think that? No. He's not worshipping the believers. He is praying for the believers. And this is the whole point. When David Wood was debating you, Abdul, he was not saying that Muhammad worshipping uh, worship by Allah. He was asking you, Allah, he pray to who? Now, if we go to this guy who was saying to us that Allah, he salute. And let me show you guys how stupid this statement is from a guy he claimed to be an Arabic teacher. Not only Muhammad Hijab, he got him busted, but let us go there. <clears throat> Those Abdul, they think they, they are the only one who speak Arabic. <laughs> we are the one who taught you Arabic. Or all the, the biggest poetry in the history of Arabia is made by Arab Christians, not Muslims. Muslims, even the, even the Quran, call the Muslims illiterate. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. If we go by this guy who claimed to be an Arabic teacher that yusallun here, mean salute. Hmm? Salute. I will go with you. So people can laugh with us at what you just said. So this is your saloon. In Allah, wa malaikatahu. You saloon, you said salute. How silly to say that the God, the Almighty, the one who created the universe and his angels, saluting the Prophet. Oh, I forgot that your God, Allah, is private soldier in the army and he is saluting the sergeant Muhammad. So based on what you said, we have a guy here, his name is Muhammad. So people can laugh and see how silly what you said. This is Muhammad. Oh, don't forget to say, Allahumma salli wa sallam alayhi wa ta'ala ta because you worship him. You cannot even say his name without saying tons of words after him. This is Muhammad. And now we have Allah. This is Allah. This is the angels. This is Jibreel. This is the believers. This is the Muslim women. This is Hijab. This is the guy with the long hair. All of them, they are sending salute, 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 everybody salute, everybody salute. Allah, Allah and the angels and the believers doing the same thing. And which is saluting. And look how stupid what you just said because... The verse itself getting you busted. Why? Because the verse says the following. And let everybody laugh at you. It says, Allah wa malaikatahu yusallun. And then he says, Wasallimu taslima. At the end it says salute. So Allah is saying salute, salute, salute. You see salute is here. So what is this word? 
You said it means salute, right? Well, salute is here. Wasallimu <laughs> taslima. And you, you see, you will never find a Muslim teaching Arabic. He's honest. They are their propaganda. This is what they do Dubai, but they, this is this is dawah. They try to fool you. And in Islam, deception is fine. This is why I have my book. It's called the Deception of Allah. You can go and get it from Amazon. The deception of Islam is wide and wide range. They are allowed to lie. If we go and they click at the translation, you will see the Muslim try to hide the problem here. Yusuf Ali translation, not my translation, because he will say to you, oh, this is his translation. No, this is not my translation. You can choose any, anything you want. Let me make the text bigger. Uh, all right. Yusuf Ali translation. You can choose any translation. All of them, they are fake and false. Allah and his angels sending a blessing. You see, this guy, he said, it means salute. This guy, he said, blessing. So which one of you is lying? Because there is a huge difference between salute and blessing. Now, if Allah is sending salute and the angels sending salute and the Muslims sending salute and everybody sending salute, so what is salute here for? If this word here, yusallun, means salute, do you see it? Salute was an additional order, you idiot. Stop lying. And if the word here is a blessing, that will be more stupid. Because only God he can give a blessing. If Allah, if Allah already blessed Muhammad, who need the angels to bless Muhammad anyway? The angels will ask Allah to bless Muhammad. But Allah already blessed Muhammad. <laughs> Kid, don't forget to call me when I am live on air. Or you can let your dad call me. This is a Christian prince was with you. And the Abdul got busted. Thank you very much. And follow more of my videos. Take care.